In my last video, I showed you briefly the Trotec Speedy 300 when I was showing the difference between a router, a 3D printer, and a laser cutter and engraver. Now, some people ask me, well, give me a little bit more details about the 300, so that's what this video is focused on. Before we jump into the different aspects of this machine, the overall dimensions on this one here is roughly a meter square. Now as for weight, um, it has a flex option. So if you just go with the CO2 uh, tube, you're looking at roughly 140 kilograms. But if you're going with the flex, which means that you have the CO2 and you have the fiber laser, then you're looking at a little bit over the 200 kilogram mark for this laser. Now let's take a look at the platform itself. What I really like about the Speedy 300 is the bed size itself. You're looking at roughly 72 centimeters by 43 centimeters. But what really makes this machine stand apart is the head itself. The head is able to move up to 5 G's, which is 3.5 meters per second. Now, when you're cutting stuff, it's more a function of the power of the tube. But when you're engraving, that's when it really shines, because you can speed through stuff. Looking at the bed itself in a little bit more detail, you notice that there's two rulers. These are screwed into the bed. You can take them out if you want. But they're really nice for positioning material because you know you have exactly 90 degree angle here. And they're not moving around no matter what you do. And here you can see the exhaust. So the exhaust goes the length of the machine. So no matter where you position it, it will, all the material and the fumes will get sucked out, keeping your machine clean. Let's take a look at the lens from a different angle. Here you can see a black tube. 
This is called air assist. When you're cutting or engraving material down here, you have fumes coming up. What this does is shoot air downwards with the beam so that it goes right into the exhaust here instead of coming up to the lens and the mirror making it dirty. What I showed you in the previous clip while I had the machine on was how I go about manually focusing the beam of light so that it cuts in the most efficient manner. Now as you can see here is the head and you have the arm. On either side of the arm you'll notice this ribbon. This is what Trotec calls its impact technology. Basically whenever you're cutting or engraving you have fumes coming up and you have some components inside of here that don't really like being dirty. So this protects it. Now if you do a lot of cutting and engraving your lens will get dirty and so will your mirror. So what you want to do is clean it. With the Trotec it's very easy. All you do is unscrew the screws. Here's the mirror. And let me show you the lens. And this is the lens. And in this case, it's very, very clean. There are three different ways to control the laser head in this laser cutter. The first one is using the integrated keypad. The second one is the job control software. And the third one is actually through your iPhone. This here turns your vacuum table on or off. This is standby mode. This is to pause your job. This is return, which is the most useful feature on this machine. Let me more clearly illustrate why this is really, really a nice feature. The return button allows you to redo the previous job, which is really nice. But what you can do is actually reposition the laser at a different place on the bed and repeat the same job again and again. That's something that's very unique to Trotec lasers. And I want to show you how it works right now. Just so you get an idea of the setup here, I have a sheet of paper over a sheet of plywood just to show some contrast. You'll see the little LED light indicator, so it tells me in the job control where the laser is pointed. So let's engrave a circle on this piece of paper really quickly. Now this circle is nine centimeters round. Again, it's very light just to show an example. And now what I'm going to do is inside of the job control, move this circle over and we'll see it make another circle where I've repositioned it. Now I can do this all day if I want. Let's do another one. And again, press return. So I didn't have to load up the software again, I didn't have to import things again. All I did was press return and now I have three circles out of basically one. How cool is that? Taking a look at the back of the machine, it's pretty straightforward. Here's the on and off switch. Here's where you plug it into the wall. This is the tube, and you'll notice that it only has one fan on it instead of two. That's because this is the new Trotec 300 with a ceramic core, which is 30% more efficient than traditional metal tubes. Down here, you'll see the exhaust, and that can go out to an Atmos filter or be thrown outside. It's up to you. Another really cool feature of the Trotec Speedy 300 is this. You can actually open the front of it. Now that's kind of cool because you could have put some really long pieces into it and cut or engrave uh, very safely. You have up to 20 centimeters of play as well. Now it doesn't go all the way through on this one here. But what is really nice is you can put the edge of something that's really long and cut or engrave it. Instead of saying no to a job, you'd actually slide a nice chunk of it in.
on, baby girl, let's get it going on. I'ma hit the highway and do it my way. It ain't no game girl, so I don't play games. I keep it up straight, right up in your face. So make your mind up, cause life is too short. I got the best on, boy, put your belt on. Stop acting all cool, like can you West for you? Be riding through the wire and the time I get by you. The one that no, I don't want that no. This goes up the things and chicks so slow, slow. Hit the backseat when you're doing the licking, kissing, squeezing. Do the damn thing, man.